Hi, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. Today is a, a little bit of a mad scientist Saturday. I'm working on my team's creative cat crew color challenge and I went with an ocean theme. I remembered that I had bought the ruffled ribbon and the reason why I bought it was I liked how it was being used as seaweed and the color that was being used, you can buy it in four colors. The colors that it seems to be used most often as is Tranquil Tide. And Bermuda Bay is a lighter color of Tranquil Tide and it is one of the three colors for the color challenge. So as I was putting the layers together of this card, I remembered that I had bought the ruffled ribbon in the two lightest colors. So it comes in four colors, Powder Pink, Lemon Lime Twist, Tranquil Tide, and Berry Burst. And my intent was to buy the two lightest colors and see how many of the darker colors I could get using the blends. So that's what I started doing today and thought, oh, I better video some of this and show what my findings are. So first off, I made the mistake with the Lemon Lime Twist. It's a very yellow green and of course Bermuda Bay is not a yellow green so when I put Bermuda Bay on it I ended up with this very much not Bermuda Bay color so that was a fail then I took the pink which has the cold tones in it and I did a light and a dark Bermuda Bay and they are very very close I don't know if on the camera you can see the difference to my eye. I see a very, very faint lightness to this one here on the right. So my strategy with the next colors that I decided, oh, I better try some other colors, was to stick with the light. So this is the one I'm actually going to use, and I'll show you the card I'm working on, and then we'll, we'll go off and play with some more colors. So this is what the three colors today actually are Daffodil Delight, Bermuda Bay, and White. And in it's an image challenge, so in the image there's also a wood colored bench and then a kind of a goldish but dark medallion. So I went ahead and took some liberty, which in, in our color challenges, which anybody can join by the way. So I recommend if you're looking for a good color challenge, you do get blog candy sent to your home as long as you're in the US it's called stampingcatcrew.com and so I went ahead and this color wasn't called out but it is on the image and the the main intent is to make your image be like the image that was submitted and then the colors are called out sometimes not all the colors in the image are called out so I went ahead and took the liberty and added the uh, Cajun craze so this is what my card will look like when I get it all put together with a little bit of the ruffle that I wanted to add. So I'll set that aside. So then I played with some different colors. Here's the pink. I used the Light Lovely Lipstick and the Dark Poppy Parade. And here is what I got and how close they match. So that's the Light Lovely Lipstick. Now what's interesting is I told you that the fourth color that you can get this ribbon in is Berry Burst. Then we have Berry Burst and I'm trying to get as close to now and what's interesting is Lovely Lipstick, the, the thing that you have to notice with the blends if you haven't already it's the same thing with the Copic markers. The caps do not match very closely. They're just a casual indicator. So, in the case, I'm gonna pull out the other lovely lipstick. So this is the light lovely lipstick and here's the dark. And you can see that neither really match the paper. In fact, they definitely match more closely with Berry Burst, which Berry Burst does not have a representative Mark Blends pen. But if I were to try to say I wanted a replacement, Rich Razzleberry is actually very close to it. 
as well. So I'm going to color, since we have the berry burst out. Sorry, I, the trailer moved. All right, so this is dark, rich razzleberry. I'm looking for potentially the light. Here's the light. I'm going to take a pink. And I actually, these, these blends, if you're going to use the blends, you definitely need some sort of color protection down so you don't make a mess. I'm, I always try to start with the light because you already have a base of color and I'm afraid if I use the darks I will end up immediately too dark. So let's see what we get. I was actually coloring that off the screen. It's a little bit wet. So that was the lovely lipstick, matches very well with the lovely lipstick. So I'm very pleased that I get to add that color. And that is Rich Razzleberry Light. So I think the color tone is close enough there that I would call that something that I could use with as Rich Razzleberry, as close to the Berry Burst for a match. So I'm gonna set that aside. I then showed you, so back on track, Poppy Parade. This is great. This is my Christmas color. We chose, my husband and I, three colors for me to buy enough cardstock to do Christmas cards. And we chose Poppy Parade, Call Me Clover, and Blueberry Bushel. So I'm very pleased that I get to use the ruffled ribbon if I want to. Now I worked on some greens. The greens were used, they used the Lemon Lime Twist as their base. And what I want to do on this one, so this one I pulled the dark Call Me Clover, and like I told you, I think that it already has enough color that li the light version is better to use. So I'm going to go ahead and color a light. So this is the light Call Me Clover. Let's see. Oops, and that is the wrong color. I need green cut. I will keep all of these little bits to possibly use in projects. Let's just see what we get with the light. One thing when you use the blends on these ribbons, they turn stiff when they dry. It's really interesting the, the effect that you get. And it seeps all the way through, so you don't actually have to do both sides. So that's very wet at the moment. I'm gonna let that sit for a moment and we were, we'll move on. The next color I thought would be good to try is a favorite of mine. It's slightly darker than Lemon Lime Twist, Granny Apple Green. And the Granny Apple Green that I chose was the dark, not the light. So that one, I also am curious what the color looks like when I use the light. So we'll get both of these going. I can already tell that as this dries, it's still very wet. But the dark is gonna be the closest because look at the, the, the yellow comes through on the light. So it'll have to be, to get a, the closest color match will have to be the dark. I am still very pleased with the number of colors that I'm going to have available to me using the pink and the lemon lime twist. Remember, I'm very limited in my space for storage, so I've only bought four colored ribbon. All of the other ribbons that I buy are white or very vanilla, so that I can use them and color it, them to any color that I want. Okay, so here is the light 
granny apple green. It, it needs to dry. So this one's almost dry. In fact, the, they dry pretty fast because they're alcohol. So here's your light and dark Call Me Clover. So I'm liking the light Granny Apple Green for sure. So those colors are good. The Poppy Parade is good. I have two other colors I was curious and I thought I would share them on video for anyone else who's curious. I want to try. Both of these are pinks. I'm going to do pumpkin pie. I'm just curious if the orange is strong enough to uh, dominate over that pink color. And this is now become is a little bit of, of a of an orangey pink. So I am not sure if this light heather, Highland Heather, is going to be enough to get its color through the pink. So let's just see. Just don't know, but actually it's doing a good job, I think. I do believe that the dark Highland Heather would for sure be too dark. So see the pink still shines through, so it might not be the best match. I'll let it dry and then show it again. We'll see what happens when it dries. And then the last color that I'm curious about is the orange. I know that I'm not going to get any success with my yellows. I think cherry cobbler is going to be plenty strong enough. I do not know that I have light and dark na night of navy and I am not sure that the night of navy will have any success on either of these colors. I have all the browns and grays. It's possible I'll have some success with the browns and grays on the pink. And then these other lighter colors, I have soft sea foam, probably not going to have any luck with that. And I have light and dark, let's see what this one is, mint macaron probably is not going to be able to dominate over either of these two colors, but I have lots of other whites to put them on. And then the other one that I'm not going to even try is Pool Party, of course. Oh, and a color I do think will work is the olive. I think the olive will come out like a little bit like Granny Apple Green. So Old Olive I didn't try on this because I feel that it will. it's better to use the Granny Apple Green dark and that'll be the closest I can get to, say, the Mossy Meadow and the Olive. So that's why I didn't use those colors, because I figured that those were not colors that had a good chance of working. But let me do the, the pumpkin pie. I'm going to start with the light, but I might have to actually go to the dark. Uh, it's actually doing really well. I, I think it's covering over the pink nicely. I, I was not expecting that. So that actually looks great. Let's compare. It's a little bit wet. So there you go. I now have perfect autumn if I want to use the ruffled ribbon and that is exactly why I bought these two ribbons so I could get lots of other colors out of the deal. If I had bought the two dark colors I would not have had the opportunity to get this many colors covered. So I'm trying to line them all up for you so you can see just how many colors I was able to replicate successfully. So here's the light and dark. Neither are perfect in this actually. See how well that dried? So I would have to say that that's a perfect match and that was using the light granny apple green. And then the dark, I think, that would have the potential to do the old olive. And then the light Call Me Clover is still a little bit too green colored, so you would have to use the darker. There you go. And that is all I wanted to show today. I love having days like this where I just have one project to do and then I get to play. Um, I think that as a crafter for me, 
organizing and playing with the materials and the techniques is just as much fun as it is to just sit and make cards. All right, so I just couldn't stop. I decided to take it further and make a color swatch chart. So these are all of the greens and what they look like. Underneath each color is the color that I used. And I found with the pinks, so this is all done, and those are the two old olives and how they look versus the two granny apple greens. So that's pretty much the excitement there. But boy, when I went into the pinks, here's all of the, I did a color matchups with them. Light cherry cobbler matches up with real red beautifully. Dark cherry cobbler can be used with cherry cobbler, of course, absolutely perfectly, but it actually looks just fine with Mary Merlot as well. I took a chance and I used Dark Daffodil Delight and Dark Daffodil Delight. Couldn't get the lightness that it needs to be Daffodil Delight, but it does work on either crushed curry or even better, it goes perfect with Mango Melody. Just for kicks, I tried the Dark Knight of Navy and it came out beautiful. So that is a perfect match. I am thrilled. Flirty Flamingo is perfect. That's with the light Flirty Flamingo. Calypso Coral. The light matches Calypso Coral. I just tried the dark and look at that. It works perfect with Cajun Craze. Soft Suede Light matches with Soft Suede. Soft Suede Dark is perfect with early espresso. Highland Heather Light matches with its color swatch. And Dark Heather Highland Heather matches with Gorgeous Grape. And then these are the colors we already went through. So now I get to make the pink swatch. And I'm tempted to mark on the pink swatch with all of the alternate color matches that I found. And I might come back later with that once I get it finished up and show you guys what it looks like. All right, one last look. These are the three swatch sheets that I created. I've already matched up in the case of the pink, the powder pink ruffle ribbon. The matchups are on the back and underneath each ribbon is the color that I used to achieve it. In this case, when I got into the gray and the crumb cake, the, it isn't a perfect match for either of them. So on the back, I just don't have anything there. And these other three matched up. And then I haven't actually written the color matches on the back for the green. I will go back and do that later. And I think I am now officially done. Thanks for watching.